In the police academy, we did uh, unarmed self-defense, and the instructor was um, a jiu-jitsu guy. And uh, after the class, we, um, I mean, after, you know, the, the class is over, he said, you know, my wrestling ability, he was just like, hey, why don't you come try this out? You know, I, I do some, we, he called it the fight club for cops and in his basement of his house. So I went over there and I started rolling around and he's like, uh, why don't you come try it out at this uh, school I go to with my instructor. So I went over there. That's how I originally got into the whole fight. Literally, people will say you're crazy and I'm telling you, I walked into that fight not a not nervous. I walked into an arena. I'm like, I've been here before, wrestled in front of all these people. I, I, I was looking at, I threw my first punch, like with a boxing coach. I think uh, I fought Saturday. I, the first time I ever sparred or anything was the week before. Wow. And the first time I, I held, I got somebody to hold pads for me was the Monday of the fight. So <laughs> I had no, I had no idea what I was getting myself into. I said. I said, my goal was I was going to take this kid down anyway, so what the hell does it matter? They've always been big supporters of me wrestling. And my, I mean, me and my dad have traveled all over the place for wrestling, so he, he was always on board. They didn't really know what it was, to be honest with you. Um, my mom still doesn't watch me fight. Um, she goes, she buys a ticket, she buys a t-shirt, she watches everybody else fight, she leaves, and then she comes back in the arena. Um, she always watches me wrestle. I don't know why. She just doesn't like me getting punched in the face. But, um... No, they're all, you know, they've always been on board, obviously, now that, you know, that I'm really going on and fighting pro and have all these fights, and now they're going to, like, you know, starting to get a little, getting old, I have family, kids, so they're, like, uh, they're getting a little concerned now, but I think that it's something that you have inside you. I don't think, I have a lot of guys, good friends that are very competitive and great wrestlers, and they just, they just don't have, they can't. They can't get punched in the face, and I have other friends that you know, are, were terrible at you know wrestling that come in here and just are, are animals. So they can, they, you know, and, and I'm just talking from a wrestler's perspective because you know I don't know about those other you know, sports because I never did them. But um, yeah, I think that's you know, the thing is I think you definitely have to have it inside you, and I think the biggest thing is you know can you can you actually come in there and get punched in the face, you know?